Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. So this is the uh, CKF 520. Now I've reviewed the carbon fiber version of this before, so I'm not going to go into huge detail on this. Also, this is a limited release, so um, these are not available right now. So uh, they may become available again in some other form. I don't think necessarily this form, but I'm not sure. Um, CKF has been a little wonky lately where they're releasing some old models in different forms. Um, this is one of them. Uh, they don't re-release the limited releases, so now they've you know released some of them in um, in different forms. Uh, this is one of them. So one of the things I will say is the thing that I hated most about the uh, the original CKF 520 was there was like some sharp edges over here that uh, really really bothered me, and I didn't necessarily. Um, or th that was one of the main things that I hated about it and didn't, uh, and decided to move on from it. Now that had a, a little slightly different configuration because there was a bolster here and then there, it was a bunch of carbon fiber. Um, I'm not sure if the, if that really impacted it or they actually chamfered things down. Um, but it is not sharp anymore here. Um, it's, I mean, you can still feel a little bit, but it's, it's really nothing compared to what, uh, the other one was the hand satin on this is awesome um, they really do a great job ckf on all their hand satin so uh, very happy about that the action on on ckfs is just insane every every ckf i've had has had really really insane action so um, the action is uh, is not a worry and the jimping you know you have here is perfect um, and uh, it really is a great front flipper um, it's got that nice front flipper frame lock action. Uh, so, you know, this is a really, really nice knife. I love the stone washing on, on, uh, on here on the, um, on the handle. Uh, and it, it just really is a very, very nice knife. I wish these were a larger production. Um, the price on these was like uh, 4 four ninety five something like that. Um, can't remember the exact price, but uh, the, these were were priced pretty well at the time. I remember thinking, um, you know, that I was getting a pretty good deal on it. And, uh, you know, I did buy it when it first came out. Um, as you can see here, I can't even stop fidgeting uh, with it while I'm, you know, uh, on camera here. So if you're into fidget factor, if you're into, um, you know, uh, form factor, if you're into titanium, and uh, I believe this is M390 on the steel, uh, if you are into uh, you know, the, or I will say the ergonomics, by the way, on the other one, I didn't like as much, um, probably a, a little bit because of the, uh, um, uh, you know, the sharpness, but it, I have size large gloved hands and, and my fingers really fit nicely in here. This feels like kind of a, you know, a, it's really a nice ergonomic piece. Um, and it's kind of surprising because I didn't expect it, uh, even though I had previously owned a CKF 520, uh, in that carbon fiber version. So... Um, again, this is a really, really nice surprise uh, that I was not expecting um, to, to like as much as I do, um, but I really do like this one, and I'm super happy I got it. Um, this is already actually sold just because I have a ton of knives coming in and out of my collection all the time, um, but this is one I'm going to miss, and this is one that if you get the chance to pick up and own, I would definitely recommend it. Um, you know, the, like I said, it's, it's not a cheap knife, but it definitely, the quality is there, uh, and it is, it, it just works well on so many levels. Um, the, uh, I will say the pocket clip on this is, I mean, it's good, but it's, um, you know, uh, you can hear the, the tapping. I kind of, that kind of drives me crazy on some knives, but, um, I know some people, uh, are okay with that. But, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, and uh, overall, I really like this knife. So, uh, big recommend. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, and uh, see you guys next time.